All right, here's another little test I'm going to do since uh, I'm still chasing this problem. This is going to be an injector pulse test. And what this does is make sure that the injectors are getting the proper power and that they're also getting the, uh, the power to tell them when to pulse, when to squirt fuel. Um, as per the write-up on smallblockfordtech.com, I purchased one of these tester lights. I have a multimeter, but these are simplistic. As you can see, the light turns red when it gets 12 volts. I have it, the the cord attached to the negative cable. When it gets 12 volts, the light, the red light, illuminates. Okay, so if I zoom in here real close. The little shiny thing right there is a pin that I have in the number 5 injector right behind the distributor because it's the easiest injector to get to. I can't, you know, it would take too long to get this camera at a great angle and make it look all pretty, but this will work. So if you move this out of the way, you put the key in the on position, which will send power. I can't see if... Uh, you guys can see the light turning on. No, you can't. That should be good, right? About, that should be plenty right there. But if you look, focus on the pin. Here, I'm going to touch it to it. That shows that with the key on, that I have 12, uh, at least 12 volts going to the injectors. So that means my injectors are getting power. If they're pulsing correctly, that's the, be the next test that I'm going to do. All right, here's the second test. This is a fuel injector pulse test. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this light again, and on the clip, I just have a little poker. I don't have anything real useful that I, I'll grab. I just grab this because it's quick and easy. And then I have the other end, and I'm going to stick that, in the, you pull the spout connector, and there'll be two connections in the spout connector, where the spout connector plugs in. Now you put one pin in one side, and the, the poker for the light in the other side. And what you're going to do is you're going to loosen the bolt for the distributor, which is half inch drive. You're going to loosen that up just a bit where you can move, move the distributor side to side, left to right. What you're going to do is you're going to stick these two in there and you're going to watch the light. You're going to move the distributor and you'll hear the fuel pump prime. You'll hear the, uh, I think it is the injector spring. I'm not sure. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, and you also see this light flicker. Now when I read about it, I thought the light was going to light up and be really bright. For some reason, I maybe this is a symptom or it's not, but the light is just barely, barely, barely flickering. So uh, hopefully you can see it, if not, but uh, I might have, I'll hook up my multimeter to see how many volts that it actually is, because that might be a symptom. I'm not positive because um, I'm just going based off of what was typed up on the website. So I'll demonstrate so you guys can see, so it's easier for you guys um, to visually see it. It's easier for everybody, of course. Now let me spin this around. Try it on the other side so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see the light. I doubt it because it just barely, barely, barely flickers. But you'll definitely be able to hear the fuel pump prime and uh, everything else. It's hard to do this with one hand. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't look like, no, my hand's in the way. I can't really hold this any other way. The light just barely comes on and off. I'm going to try to zoom in. Let's see what I can do. Bear with me. All right. 
Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. I'll cover it up so you, the light will be focused a little more. Of course my hand's in the way. Hopefully you can see that light. I don't got it in there good enough. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, another weird thing. is the fuel pressure this is for me this isn't for the injector pulse video but I'm not sure what's going on with uh, the fuel pressure All right, as you can see it's between 30 and 35 now watch what happens when it, the, the fuel pump goes off it jumps to 40 bounces back down to 30 and then back down. I'm not sure why it's doing that. That might be a symptom. 40, 30, between 25 and 30. It's kind of odd to me. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Alright guys.